Standing together to say we are not going to allow our neighbors to be evicted and thrown out. There's another option, and it's being blocked by the greed of this bank and by the ridiculous policies of our own government, of the Department of Housing and Urban Development. They're supposed to be helping us and provide affordable housing, but instead they've imposed a rule that is creating a situation where this family will be put on the street when they don't need to be. My name's Derek and I am the homeowner of 82 Light Street. Um, so thank you a lot for um, you come. The hut, they um, try to, uh, you know, evict the people out of the house. Uh, that's why, you know, I, I just want them to change um, the rule, you know, and the policy. Because it's not fair for um, our people are living in So um, thank you for all of you. And this has been my home for as long as I can remember. I don't see the point of us moving out when we that is the only reason why we have to leave. If you really think about it, if we just change that one rule, there can be thousands out there that would still have their home. Wouldn't that make sense? Yes, yes. of course. I don't know. When I look at this house, there's still so many memories. Like, if you guys all look at that tree behind you, you'll see a few, well, kind of stairways my grandfather built. The reason it's there is because my grandpa, I remember when I was way younger, he would try to cut up all the branches before it would grow. But now that he's too old to climb the tree, you can see it kind of grew all out. <coughs> Like this house, from top to bottom, all the renovations done have been made by my family, done. There's just so much here for us. And I just want to take a moment to thank you, thank everybody for showing up today. I feel really good about the support that people are giving to this family here. Makes me proud. I've lived in this area my whole life. And one thing I can say is we're, we're all working people, regular people. And we outnumber them. We need more actions like this so we can take care of ourselves. You have a situation here where a family could, has lived here for a while. They want to stay in their house. They're being forced to move out, to leave a vacant house in a neighborhood that they lived in. A situation that could be rectified very easily and any regular person you talk to would agree that there's a practical uh, easy solution to this. But the rules now are designed to hurt us. We need more actions like this. Anytime uh, a family in one of these neighborhoods around here is in trouble, we need to make sure we have these situations where we come out together in greater numbers because they can't they can't stop us if we stick together. And that's one thing I like about uh, my neighborhood, this neighborhood here, this whole area, really most of the city is like that. When someone is in trouble, we need to help each other because right now, the way the rules are, they don't benefit us. The only way is if we come out to actions like this and we start calling our congressmen and our senators and let them know that we're just not going to take this anymore. I want to thank everyone for coming. Thanks for giving me a couple minutes to speak here. Anything that I can do, and I know Hongnet will say the same thing, we want to help because at the federal level and the state level, we're getting less and less help. It's up to us at the very bottom, at the grassroots level, the local level, that we need to start taking things into our own hands. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank, you. Yes. Yes. thank you for coming. I know, I need to start. Good evening. As you know, my name is Hong Nat. I'm a representative for this city as well, just like Pete. Uh, it is a very sad night. Also, it's a beautiful night for us to be here. Yeah. And um, I really appreciate it to, uh, uh, to come here and um, to support this lovely family. And deserve this. they deserve the best. They work so hard. 
as you know, they came as a refugee and they, uh, they work really hard to, uh, to earn a living and uh, to build uh, the American dream, like all of us. Yes. So now the American dream is about to fall apart, which is not fair. Yeah. So we will do what we can to help you out and to work together to protect our citizens, to make sure our city is a good place for us to, to stay. Estamos aquí apoyando a esta familia, tratando de evitar este desalojo. We are here tonight to support this family and trying to uh, block this eviction. No entendemos cómo agencias del gobierno se prestan para apoyar este tipo de situación. We don't really understand how, um, how the agencies of the government are supporting this kind of situation. Todos aquí unidos estamos tratando de evitar esto y le pedimos a la familia que no se vayan, que se queden. We all united, we can do something about it, and we can pray for this family to stay here. Por eso todos unidos estamos apoyando a la familia, porque hoy por ti, mañana por mí. We all can do it you, um, if we are united, because today is for me, but tomorrow it can be for you. Yeah. 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 Todos unidos, que se quede la familia, que no se vaya. If we all are strong, we all can be together so the family will stay. Yeah. So hi, there you have the, lang the message in three different languages. And if you still didn't get it, we've got a lot more. <laughs> We're a community that speaks many languages, mm -hmm. but we've got unity on this. We are not going to watch this family be evicted. Am I right? Yes! What do we do when the bank attacks? Stand up, fight back! What do we do when HUD attacks? Stand up, fight back! And we're not asking for anything too difficult here. No, we're we're asking for HUD to change their policy and stop causing unnecessary evictions. Yeah. It's ridiculous that this agency that's supposed to be promoting affordable housing and community stability is causing evictions that could easily be avoided. Right. We're not going to stand for it. No. no. And we hope that they'll listen to reason mm -hmm. and that they'll change their policy. But if they don't, we're not going to back down. No, we don't. No. And we have a few people here who are going to say a word or two about what might have to happen if they don't back down. Keep fighting. <laughs> yes, Hi, I'm Ella. Hi, Hi Ella. Ella. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you right now. And I'm Audrey. I have, and, oh, and this is Marjorie. Hi, Marjorie. I'm Audrey. And we just want HUD to know that this is not half of the people that will be blockading this house if they bring their behinds into land. <laughs> we will be out here in full force to block these doors and this driveway and wherever the perimeters go so they will not get into this man's house and put him and his family out on the damn streets. We agree! HUD need to take its ass and go back to Washington, change the rules, and come back and see us. Yeah. is they're not here alone. They've got a community behind them. Is that right? Yes! But the message for all of us here that I want to relay right now is we've got a big group, but we're not alone either. We've got a whole city together with us, but we've also got a whole history with us. We've got a history of struggle. And all the gains we've made in this country for working people, for equality, and for justice haven't come just in the courts and haven't come just by voting. They've come most of all by people standing together and fighting back together in solidarity. So we've got a song in the back of that sheet that comes from the civil rights movement. And that movement is here with us today. This is a movement for justice. 
So we're going to sing that song and bring all that history and that power into this moment with us. So if you've sung this song before, sing it loud. And if you've never sung this song before, sing it now. Sing it now. Sing it now. <laughs> it's time to join this movement. We shall not, we shall not be moved just like a tree that stands in by the waters. We shall not be moved. You are not together. We shall not be moved. That if this family got noticed that in 48 hours, moving trucks are going to come to try to force them out of their home when there's another option. We need to know that everyone is going to be here to make that word a reality, to make that song a reality. That we're going to stand together arm in arm and we will not be moved. Are you all with me? Yes! Are we all with this family? Yes! Are we all with this family that has struggled so hard and been so brave in fighting back? Are we with them? Yes! What do we do when the banks attack? Stand up, fight back! And what do we do when HUD attacks? Stand up, fight back! Thank you, you know, everybody who came in tonight. So, I bomb on the Orkney, come out the Orkney, and I bomb on the Orkney. So, through Orkney, the Orkney, come out with the car, come in. We brought a lot of this, so today, we have something to do with the Orkney. Something to do with the Orkney, and 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 the Orkney, Mak dah, na, na yang serak ni kita yang orang ini orang cat orang jang tu tak tua kah, tengok tu tengah ini dah bayi tak kapi, dia neng krusa boh yang, na, maha yang tang serak, ok ni, kapi, kapi dia yang, na, ok, som akun. So HUD and Mid First Bank, if you didn't get it in English, there it was in Khmer. We're not backing down. 